Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on Java 8 features. In this, we will see what are default and static methods of interfaces which were introduced in Java 8. And we will also see what are functional interfaces. So without any further delay, let's start. So what are default methods? Before Java 8, we could only declare abstract methods in an interface. However, Java 8 introduced the concept of default methods. Default methods are the methods that can have a body. The most important use of default method in interface is to provide additional functionality to a given type without breaking down the implementing classes. Before Java 8, if a new method was introduced in any interface, then all the implementing classes used to break because they need to provide the implementation of newly added method. So that can be avoided using default methods in Java 8. In addition to that, sometimes methods have only single implementation and there is no need to provide their implementation in each and every classes which are extending those or implementing those interfaces. In that case, we can declare the method as default in the interface and provide its implementation in the interface itself so that it can be used in all the implementing classes directly. Let's understand the syntax of default methods through an example. So here we have an interface with one abstract method and one default method. This is our interface vehicle where one abstract method which is clean vehicle. It is only the declaration of method so it is an abstract method. But then we have a default method as well which is having some body as well. So the simple way to declare a default method is using default keyword and then the return type of that method and then name and arguments of those me that method. Inside the body we can provide the implementation as per our requirement. This is the class implementing our vehicle interface. This is a car class which implements vehicle and it has overridden its uh, abstract method which is to clean the vehicle and provided its implementation. But as far as the default method is concerned, it can be directly used using the instance of that car class itself. Implementation for clean vehicle will be uh, taken from this class and the start vehicle will be taken from the vehicle interface itself because start vehicle is already a default method in vehicle interface. Although default methods are very good additions to Java and make the development a lot easier, they have one red flag that needs to be considered while coding. To see that red flag, let's look at an example here. We have two interfaces with the default method of same name print something. So we have this interface A with the default method print something having its own implementation. And in interface B also we have the method which is default uh, having same name and some different implementation. Now we have one main class here that implements both of these interfaces. Now before we proceed further, there are few questions that needs to be answered. The first one is do we really need to implement the print something method in main class because it's uh, already implemented in both the interfaces. So to have it in uh, main class, do we need to provide its own implementation? And secondly, if we do not provide the implementation in the main class, then what will happen? Will it compile or give it, it will give some compilation error? If some class calls the print something method from object of main class, then which implementation will be called? Will it be interface A implementation or interface B implementation? So before answering this question, let's see the main class that will implement both the interfaces. As you can see, class will not compile because of the diamond problem in Java and give a compilation error that duplicate default methods are inherited. If I hover to that, you will be able to see the same error here because we are implementing both the interfaces and both these interfaces have same default method with the same name. That is why it will ask us to provide its implementation in the main class. And in the main class itself, we can write our own implementation as well as we can use the implementation which is available in interface A and interface B as well. So here you can see we have overridden the print something method in the main class itself where we have provided its own implementation and if required we can call or use the implementations present in the separate interfaces as well. So for that we can use it like name of the interface dot super and then name of the default method. So in the main class we will create an object of main and uh, we can call the print something. We will first print I am inside the main class and after that we are calling the print something from both the interfaces 
So we are expecting it should print all three statements or it should use all three implementations which are present. So here you can see main class implementation inside A and implementation inside B. Our next topic is static methods in interfaces. The static methods in interfaces are similar to the default methods, but the only difference is that you cannot override them. So whatever method is uh, declared as static and implementation is provided in the interface, these implementations cannot be overridden. Now question is why do we need static methods in interfaces if we already have the default methods. Suppose you want to provide some implementation in your interface and you do not want this implementation to be overridden in the implementing classes. Then you can declare the method as static. In this class car which implements the vehicle interface it's trying to override the static method. So we will get a compilation error because static methods cannot be overridden. Also since a static method is hidden we cannot call it from the object of implementing class. So as it's a static method it will act same as the static method of a class. So let's try to uh, just comment out this overriding implementation and after that if we want to access the static method we need to use interface name dot method name. So if I save build and run this program it will give me I am cleaning my vehicle. So this is the implementation available in the static method of vehicle interface. The last topic for this video is functional interfaces. So an interface that has a single abstract method is known as functional interface. While an interface can have one or more default methods it should have only one abstract method to be called as functional interface. Java 8 has defined the java.util.function package containing a lot of predefined functional interfaces. Some of the functional interfaces defined in Java 8 are predicate, consumer, suppliers, uh, by consumer, functions, etc. The functional interface is used by lambda expressions. So those that we have already seen in our previous video. So whenever we create or we write a lambda expression. So to accommodate that lambda expression we will always need uh, a functional interface instance on the left hand side. So we have an annotation at the rate functional interface for the interfaces. Any interface that has only one abstract method can be annotated with at the rate functional interface. This is not mandatory. But if an interface is annotated with functional interface like this one and someone tries to add another abstract method in that then the compiler will start throwing an error. The similar thing we have seen in our previous video also so when we were creating this calculator interface and we have declared it as at the rate functional interface and uh, after adding this first abstract method when we try to add another method which was multiply so it started giving us compilation error. One more point to be noted here. So if an interface is annotated with at the rate functional interface and it does not have any abstract method. So then also it will start giving us compilation error because the only requirement for a functional interface is to have a single abstract method. So in this case also the compiler will start giving us compilation error. So that's it for this video. If you like watching my video please do like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.